Hello everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing Nextcloud, a powerful open source platform for file sharing, collaboration, and cloud storage. If you've been looking for an alternative to services like Google Drive, Dropbox, or Microsoft OneDrive, and you want more privacy and control over your data, Nextcloud might be exactly what you need. In this review, I'll cover what Nextcloud is, how it works, its main features, the pros and cons, pricing, and who it's best for. So what exactly is Nextcloud? At its core, Nextcloud is a self-hosted cloud platform. That means you can store your files, share them, and collaborate with others. But instead of keeping your data on someone else's servers, you can host it on your own server or with a hosting provider you trust. This gives you complete control over your data, something that's becoming more and more important in today's digital world. When you first log in to Nextcloud, you'll notice it has a clean and simple interface, similar to other cloud storage services. You can upload files, create folders, and share them with specific people, or make them public with a link. You can also set permissions so people can only view files or also edit them. One of the best things about Nextcloud is that it's not just for file storage. It comes with a whole ecosystem of apps and extensions. You can add features like collaborative document editing with Nextcloud Office, calendar and contacts management, video conferencing, task tracking, and even email integration, all inside one platform. This makes Nextcloud more like a complete private cloud workspace than just a file sharing service. For collaboration, Nextcloud offers real-time editing on documents, spreadsheets, and presentations when integrated with Collabra Online or OnlyOffice. You can comment on files, tag team members, and get notifications when something changes. There's also a chat and video call feature through Nextcloud Talk, so your team can communicate without relying on external services. Nextcloud also puts a huge emphasis on security and privacy. All data is encrypted in transit, and you can enable end-to-end -end encryption for files so that even the server administrator can't read them. You can also set up two-factor authentication, password-protected sharing links, and detailed access logs. Since it's open source, the code is transparent and regularly audited by the community, so there's no hidden tracking or data mining. Another big plus is flexibility. You can install Nextcloud on your own server, at home or in the office, use a VPS from a hosting company, or choose a Nextcloud partner that provides managed hosting. This means you can scale it to your needs, from a single user to thousands of users in a large organization. Now let's talk about the pros of Nextcloud. First, you get full control over your data, no big tech company scanning your files or selling your information. Second, it's extremely customizable thanks to its large library of apps and integrations. Third, it's open source, so there are no hidden fees and you can modify it to suit your needs. But there are also a few downsides. Setting up Nextcloud can be challenging for complete beginners, especially if you want to host it yourself. It requires some technical knowledge about servers, domains, and SSL certificates. While there are hosting providers that handle setup for you, that does come at a cost. Also, performance can depend heavily on your hosting environment. A slow server means a slow Nextcloud experience. Speaking of cost, the software itself is free to download and use, which is a huge plus. However, if you choose to pay for hosting, you'll need to factor in that cost. Managed Nextcloud hosting can range from just a few dollars per month for basic storage to higher prices for large business-focused plans. So, who should use Nextcloud? I'd say it's perfect for individuals, freelancers, and businesses who care about privacy, want to avoid vendor lock-in, and need more flexibility than mainstream cloud services offer. It's especially popular among universities, nonprofits, and organizations that handle sensitive data and need to meet strict compliance requirements. Quick tip for beginners. If you're not tech savvy, start with a managed Nextcloud hosting provider so you can skip the complicated setup. Once you're comfortable, you can explore running your own server for even more control. Overall, Nextcloud is a fantastic choice if you want your own private, secure, and customizable cloud platform. It might not be the simplest option for absolute beginners, but for those willing to learn or use managed hosting, it offers unmatched privacy, flexibility, and freedom compared to big-name cloud services. 
That's my review of Nextcloud for beginners. I hope this video was helpful. Subscribe the channel for more videos.